today's event is in memory of my brother-in-law, Ron Foley. And we do this every year, and every year it gets bigger and bigger, and the support gets stronger. I am a pancreatic cancer survivor. Along with that, I knew Ron Foley very well, and our children have been friends for a really long time. I'm really glad I'm here and working on it, because as we all know, it's a very difficult disease, and we still have far to go. And my wife was Do Donna Stevenson, is her name. When she was detected, she was in stage four already, and we had no idea. It's for a great cause, not just for someone who has the disease, but someone in the future who might have the disease. This started as a backyard event, and it's transferred to this location here at Folly Farm in Simsbury, and uh, it's just grown each year. This really is becoming the premier Kentucky Derby party in Connecticut. From year to year, this is the fourth year, and it's exponential the way it has caught on within the community. It's just been a wonderful experience watching what Barbara and the team has done from the first year in her backyard to the fourth year here in such a grand event and so much of the community embracing it has been fascinating. I'm amazed walking in here today. I can't believe the amount of people, the decor, the dresses, the hats. Everybody seems to be having a really wonderful time. I've already been a guest for a couple years running and I've really enjoyed the event. It's a fun way to spend the day. I'm going to watch the derby anyway so why not come out and support a good cause at the same time. I love the big hats. <laughs> I loved going out and getting my big hat, and I think this is absolutely, it's a gorgeous event. I was looking forward to the mint julep. I've, I've never experienced the mint julep. I think that'll be really cool. I really like the music. I just think the guys in the band are so cute, and like, I just, I love them. There are so many screaming girls for the galvanized jazz band outside by their bus that we had to get extra security. Well, I'm really looking forward to the live auction. I always think that's extremely exciting because people get caught up in it and you just can't imagine what goes on. It's wonderful. We pulled up and from the outside the, with the mountains and it's absolutely magnificent. And then I came in here and I was just completely taken aback because everybody here is dressed up. They have all their hats on. It's just really super fabulous and for a great cause. I would definitely recommend it. I will be back next year for sure. It's very informal. It's a lots, of, lots of fun. There's lots of great people. Um, and and it's, it's not your typical stuffy charity event. It's, it's just a fun place to be for a day. You can't miss this. It's a, it's a great event. Everyone's out having fun and everyone's got big smiles across their face and it's a great day, so can't beat it. Come, bring your wallet, donate. It's a great cause. Awesome day. It was just a great opportunity to kind of be here, make people aware of this very serious illness, but bring together people in a really fun, energetic environment. Great auction items. I'm going to Tuscany. She's going to Tuscany. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was beautiful. It was very well organized, and I felt like there was just a really good vibration here. Everybody was enjoying themselves, and it was a really good cause, and I was glad to be part of it. Thank <laughs> you.